Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to introduce you to the location column that we now have on SharePoint lists and libraries. So here's a use case. I have this list of projects and maybe I want to capture the physical address of each and every project. So what you can do now is this. You can click on add column and from different uh, column types, we need to choose location. And this is actually the geolocation um, you know, of a specific address. So for example, let's go ahead and uh, create a column name. And what that means is that uh, we can extract the information from the actual physical address. For example, you know, city, state, um, you know, postal code, um, country, et cetera. Um, let's go ahead and extract uh, those three fields, city, state, and postal code. And I will explain to you why. So we are going to click Save. Let me show you what will happen. So it added our column called location. This is where the users will be actually typing in the address. And these are the columns that I extracted from this address, all right? So the user would click on the row to tag, hit this little uh, document information panel or information panel in this case, because it's a list. Let's go ahead and uh, tag the location. Uh, and this is the actual physical address you would um, um, you know, specify. So just go ahead and uh, type it in. Here we go. I want Times Square in New York City. Here we go. It picked it up, the actual address. Um, let's save it. All right. And look at this. Uh, it actually extracted the city, the state, and the zip code, the postal code from this address. Let's do another one. Uh, let's maybe tag it uh, differently. So let's tag it with another location, one main street, and we'll just, you know, I guess pick up uh, this one right here, whatever it is. Again, saved it. That happens to be in a different state, different city, etc. And you get the idea. But here is why I wanted to show you how to extract the information. Because once you extract the cities and the state and you know whatever other fields you want, uh, here's what you can do. You can actually uh, group things uh, by different fields. You know, in this case, I can group by you know different state or I can group by you know different postal codes, etc. So once you can extract that information, you can pretty much manipulate it in the same you know, manner you can uh, with regular metadata. You can group it, you can sort it, you can filter it. Um, and um, it's a very, very powerful feature uh, in my opinion. All right, um, just to keep, um, you know, just to also show you, I showed the, introduced you to this column in the context of a list. Um, this column does exist on document libraries as well. If for whatever reason uh, you want to tag your documents against the physical address, the location column is available with document libraries as well. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this little video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.